how to make a magic square. So here you can see that I have drawn a 3 by 3 grid magic square. Here total you have 9 empty boxes. So we have to fill numbers here in these boxes in such a way that if you add all those numbers vertically or horizontally or diagonally, every time you should get same sum. So how do we fill the numbers so that we get same sum every time? So for that we have to follow few basic rules. So let's begin with those rules. So here we will enter numbers from 1 to 9. Now rule number 1. The first number which you enter here should be the center box of the first row. So first number you will write here. And then you have to move diagonally. Now here you don't have any box, right? But you have a column. So you have to enter the last box of that column. So 2 will come here. Now again you have to move diagonally. Again here there is no box but you have a row. So you have to enter the last box of that row. So after 2, 3 comes. Again you have to move diagonally. But the box is already filled. So you have to come back and you have to fill the box which is below it. So 4 will come here. Now move diagonally. So here 5 will come. Again move diagonally. So here 6 will come. Now again move diagonally. Now here there is no box. There is no column as well. There is no row also. right? So in that case you come back and you fill the box which is below it. So here 7 will come. Now again move diagonally, here there is no box but you have a row so you have to fill the last box of that row. Again move diagonally, here also there is no box but you have a column so fill the last box of that column. So this is how you enter the numbers in a magic square. So here if you add numbers vertically you will see it will be how much? 8 plus 3 plus 4 is 15. Here the sum of these numbers is 15. Here also you can check 1 plus 5 plus 9 gives you 15. Here also the sum will be 15. So vertically you are getting same sum. Now check horizontally. So 8 plus 1 plus 6 will give you 15. So like this you can check for every row. You will get sum 15 only. Now check diagonally. So 8 plus 5 plus 2 is 15. Even here also you will get 15. So that's what makes it a magic square. So here you can see that you know every movement of the number is happening diagonally. Right? It is happening diagonally but if there is no empty box then you have to follow the basic rule. Now let's uh, do one more 5 by 5 grid box and let's revise all these rules once again. Before I do this 5 by 5 grid magic square, I want all of you to pause the video and try this yourself and then check your answers. So as I told you, the rule number 1 is that you have to enter the first number in the center box of the first row. So this is the center box of the first row and then every time you have to move diagonally. Now here there is no empty box, right? But you have a column. So you have to fill the last box of that column. Again move diagonally. Write 3 here. Again move diagonally. Now here there is no box but you have a row. So you have to fill the last box of that row. Now again move diagonally. Fill 5 here. Again move diagonally but here the box is already filled. So come back and fill the box which is below it. Now move diagonally. Write 7 here, again move diagonally, write 8 here, again move diagonally. Now here there is no box, but you have a column, so you have to fill the last box of that column. Now move diagonally, here there is no box, but you have a row. So you have to fill the last box of that row. Now move diagonally, this box is already filled, so you have to come back and fill the box which is below it. Right? Now move diagonally, write 12 here, here 13, then 14, 
and 15. Now move diagonally. Here there is no box, there is no column, there is no row as well, right? So what do we do? We come back and we fill the box which is below it. Now again move diagonally. Now there is no box but you have a row. So you have to fill the last box of that row. Now again move diagonally. There is no box but you have a column. So you have to fill the last box of that column. Now move diagonally. So write 19 here then 20. Now this is occupied already so come back and fill the box which is below it. Now move diagonally this will be 22. Again move diagonally there is no box but you have a row. So you have to fill the last box of that row. Now move diagonally. Now here there is no box but you have a column. And you have to fill the last box of that column. So here. If you have noticed, we started from this box and we ended in the same column. Okay. In the previous 3x3 three three grid also, you must have noticed the same thing. So this is your magic square. You can take any row, any column, any diagonal. Every time you will find the sum as same. So here, let's see that 17 plus 23 plus 4 plus 10 plus 11 gives you 65. Similarly, you can check for this row, 17 plus 24 plus 1 plus 8 plus 15 will also give you 65. Even diagonally also you can check, you will get 65. So this is your 5 by 5 grid magic square. So I hope you like this trick. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and make your own magic square. So that's it for today. See you very soon with few more interesting tricks. Until then, goodbye, take care. Thank you.